it was a wonderful evening, but my heart was just huh. full it's of thanks point. once again to Elvis now or yeah. for giving just me now. that okay, okay. show in that direction and helping me. So, all of my shows, I like to pay tribute to Elvis. Here's my favorite song of his from my album, my tribute album to Elvis, which is called I Remember Elvis. This one right here. The accord.
new keys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that is very, very sweet. So now I feel really at home here. Mr. Jack White. <laughs> and he was wanted to know if I was interested in uh, letting him produce an album by me on Third Man Records, his label. So I thought a minute and I said, oh yeah, 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 that's fine. Oh, then I got a little bit afraid. I'm thinking, he's the biggest thing in rock music. What's he going to want me to do? <laughs> so I thought, I'll give you a couple of samples. But uh, in 2011, the album was released that he called The Party. You know, he really just went above and beyond to give that record a good send-off. And I am more proud of that, I think, than I am the first one I made. <laughs> and he was wonderful to work with anybody interested to know you. If he calls you, you want to record. when I record, like it's He's a slave driver. Yeah, sure, <laughs> <laughs> I was dancing yeah. while I did it. Okay, but uh, we're going to do some songs to... from it. Let's uh, oh, okay. start off with My hips are the start of it. <laughs>
that many horn tutors in the business. I Okay, here's a song that Jack and I almost came to this fight. <laughs> No, he's too big <laughs> to me, but <clears throat> anyway, I said, Jack, I, don't, I can't record that song. It's the Amy Winehouse one. <laughs> and he said, well, I don't know why. I said, I don't think my fans would want to hear me sing a song like that. I mean, it's not age appropriate. <laughs> Things, I said, and I'm not singing that second verse. <laughs> so, so he just kind of rewrote it and left kind of the same meaning and softened it up a little. I said, no. He just kept on and kept on. Okay, okay. You win. That's what I meant. He's a slave driver. <laughs> He's going to get his way one way or the other. So. Anyway, we'd like, like to time. right now do our version. By the way, if there's Amy Whitehouse fans here, they're probably in. I was looking forward to meeting her because I go to England, to London and all over England a couple of times a year usually. So, but I won't have that opportunity now. So, uh, so what I do, I do promise you, that I will keep singing her song.
favorite song on her album. <laughs> so I'm glad I took his advice. Woo! Okay. Well, then, uh, last year, uh, I signed this, uh, uh, what label am I on? <laughs> no, not now. Started. <laughs> But anyway, I uh, worked with a totally different kind of producer on this one. That keeps it exciting, you know, I never know. <laughs> and so, it was Justin Towns Earl. Have y'all heard of him? Yeah. He's coming along in the ranks and uh, so he is so laid back and so cool, you know. I would go over and tap him on the shoulder and say, Justin, I hate to wake you, hon, but was that a take? <laughs> he, oh, I'm not asleep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's a sweetheart to work with. So, we have a new album uh, called Unfinished Business. I
sorry I can't share this with you. But... Oh God! I just saved your camera, Randy. You're welcome. Mickey took one for the team.